Hello again guys, it's Blue here and um, I just I wrote a little AI that I wanted to share with you guys so basically what it does it helps you with working with texture atlases so here I have a texture atlas that I created it has this texture is pretty large it's 4 megabytes um, so it has lots of animations in here and um, it also has this texture for a crate has the diffuse, the, the normal, and the specular. And so basically once you get this, you have your texture, you save it out as a texture atlas. And um, notice the naming conventions here. It goes the name four zeros dot png for the animation parts. Okay, so now with this AI, how does it work? Here we have the animation AI, but to start off we have the main AI. Basically what you do, you attach this AI to whatever model you want to animate. So say you have a billboard that you want to attach a sprite to, an animated sprite, you would attach this AI to that sprite. Okay, so basically here I have the model and for the material I just have the one texture. So basically everything, my whole scene has one, every model in this whole scene has one texture. It looks a mess now. <laughs> this is a cube, this is a billboard another billboard, another billboard. So it's uh, I think um, five billboards and one model and this is what it looks like if you run it. Here we go, so we have this animating back here, this animating over here, this one. So three different animations. Here this one is constantly looping. This one plays one time and then stops so to play the animation once this is playing the animation continuously this cube is rotating it has one um, again the cube is getting the material from the texture atlas this right here the normal map is actually a HUD it's a, it's a HUD component with the normal map texture applied from the atlas so all this can be done with this one AI Okay, let's take a look at some of the code. Basically, this AI has um, seven, I think, seven handlers. So, on create animation, you send the animation name that you want. You send the tile name. Now, the tile name is whatever the texture is named in the atlas. So, here the tile name would be flare we sell the index and the range so how did this work the tile name is flare the index is has four zero 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 and the range would go from the range would go up to let's see 63 whoops I have some junk down there okay so let's take a look at something better flare flare goes from flare zero 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 all the way to Flare 0031. So if I want to create an animation for that, I would do, you know, send the event. I grab a, um, a handle to the, the object in the scene. Then I send the event, create animation. You name it whatever you want. So this, this is the name I'll call to actually play that animation. So it's Flare. Zero, 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 and this animation has 33 frames so then it will create the animation for you you could also set the UV of a mesh so you you get a handle to the object again and you send set material or set mesh UV from Atlas with the name of 
the uh, material in the uh, in the atlas. So here you'll see that we have the crate diffuse. So we're saying, hey, I want to set this cube's mesh to that. And also, you could see you could do the same thing for the HUD elements. And again, once you get that done, it looks. looks like this. So basically every draw call here is being done by one atlas. There's some more optimizations that you could probably do but for now this is just an early early thing. Also you see this one it'll play one time and stop. This one plays but every five seconds it changes the animation speed over here. So if you watch it for a second it'll change the animation speed. So there you go, the animation speed switched up a little bit, got a little bit slower. And when this changes the animation speed, this loops one more time. So everyone, thanks for watching. Peace.